Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why most people are afraid to be in love right after this. All right fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me Me Me. So I have 10 tips for you especially if you are one of the people out there who really want love but you are super scared to let down your defenses speaking of that a lot of us have these defense mechanisms that we hold on to especially when it comes to the matters of the heart letting down our guard and being vulnerable and absolutely letting somebody in and we try to hold on to these things for a sense of control because you got your heart broken before and you don't want that to happen for a sense of security uh, ain't nobody gonna get me you know like they got me before just all of these things that we have holding on to them because we really think that it's actually keeping us safe from getting hurt from being harmed from people taking advantage of us so we don't like to let down our guards and especially when it comes to the matters of heart of the heart and being in love it can be a very scary time for lots of people out there and um, a lot of times this is why people will sabotage the relationship unconsciously or even consciously they are sabotaging the relationship because secretly they do not believe that that relationship is or or I should say that they are good enough for that relationship that they're trying to pursue or maybe they think that the person themselves is just too good for where they are in their lives and who they are currently in their life they're not bringing enough to the table etc 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 so we're gonna jump into these 10 tips all right so what drives our fears of intimacy what keeps us from finding and keeping the love that we say that we actually want the first thing to think about is because love makes us vulnerable. <laughs> makes us vulnerable because you're opening up and sharing all of these things about yourself and you're like, okay, am I actually going to be accepted after I share said information? So we get scared and we become scary little kids because we all just want to be accepted. We all just want to be loved. We all want to feel a part of something and somebody the love that is real so it's vulnerable and it's scary the second reason why people want to stay away from love and getting in love and 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 in a loving relationship is because new relationships stir up old past that that hurt you before yes those past hurts and it's because you didn't reflect and get rid of that baggage. But but that's not this type of video today. But that's why it's doing that. It's stirring up all that stuff that you didn't deal with. So you're scared again to be vulnerable, to let down your guard. Because ain't nobody going to get you like they got you before. Yep. The third thing really hit home for me, which is with real joy comes real pain. And that is absolutely true. Like, again, none of us want to be hurt. You don't wake, you don't wake up and say, you know what? I want to be hurt by my boo today. I want them to hurt my feelings. No, nobody wakes up and does that. However, because we are human, our spouse is going to hurt our feelings someday. It doesn't have to be intentional. That doesn't mean that you're not going to get your feelings hurt. And the pain from you getting those feelings hurt is real and nobody likes to feel the pain i'm i'm one of them people too my booby hurt my feelings and i'd be like mm. because quiet as this cat I'm, I'm sure i said it on here before like i am a big cry baby like i am very sensitive but everybody don't get to see that side of me but by now of course my husband has seen that side of me i get my feelings hurt quick so yeah that pain don't never feel good Sometimes he being a jerk about it. Other times he don't mean it. It is what it is. But that don't mean I don't get my feelings hurt just because it is what it is. The fourth thing to consider is that love is usually, not 100% of the time, but it's usually unequally yoked. And what I mean by that is the times that I'm loving you and wanting to be in your company and wanting to be all around you, you might be thinking about that goal that you're trying to attain. So all of that energy and that loviness lovey-doveyness that I'm trying to give to you is because I want it back in return 
And unfortunately, because you up in here in this head space, you are not able to give it to me. And a lot of times it goes like that in a relationship. When you're ready to give and love, 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 they down here somewhere and they cannot return it for whatever reason. It's not that they don't want to. Whatever they are focused on, it doesn't happen to be the relationship at that moment, at that seasonal time in their life. So it can be unequally yoked at times. And that's scary too. The fifth reason why a lot of people don't want to be in loving relationships, unfortunately, is because your siblings, your parents, all of those family members that you are super, super close with, now this person becomes your immediate family. And you're kind of pushing those people to the side. Not on purpose. It's just a natural progression in life. Because especially if you're trying to move toward the marriage stage, the person that you are now cleaving to is your spouse. And so it's not your mom no more. It's not your dad no more. And at some point, it won't even be your children. It will be you and your spouse. And that can be scary for a lot of people to let go of those family connections, those family ties. And again, it's not that you're letting them go forever, but especially if they were your primary person or primary people that you would talk to about everything. And now that stops. That can be very scary. Again, but it's all a part of growth. It's all a part of the process. It's all a part of the process. It's all a part of the growth process for yourself and it will be a growing process for your relationship as well it, your relationship will start to mature the sixth thing to consider is that love actually stirs up existential fears and a lot of times we don't think about our mortality until we get into these serious relationships and especially when we add an additional life we start thinking about all the things that we need to get serious about because who knows the time or the day that we will no longer be here. We start to think about all this stuff. Especially when you get into a relationship. Especially when you add children into the mix. Again, it matures you for sure. The seventh thing to consider is that we actually doubt ourselves. We 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 doubt ourselves. And that, that inner critic that's up here, it needs to be silenced more often. A lot of times we actually feed into that inner critic versus silencing that inner critic and knowing our own worth, knowing our own value. A lot of times we feed into that inner critic and we, and that's where the doubt actually lingers. It holds on to us, has a stronghold on to us. And you can let that doubt go and you can absolutely silence. No, not can. You have to start to silence that inner critic. Eighth reason why people do not want to be in loving relationships is because it interferes with your life's plans. And that is absolutely true. <laughs> it interferes with your life plans because when we're going through this journey in life, right, we're usually thinking about ourselves. And before you get into a serious relationship and especially marriage and add in all of these people, meaning children, and taking on all of these things that you didn't think that you were going to have to take on. It throws all these curveballs. It throws all these curveballs into your life. And you like, what the heck is going on? I'm trying to get from point A to point B in a straight line. And unfortunately, love's journey and life's journey usually is, a, is usually not a straight line. It's usually all <laughs> before you get to point B. You go through so many roller coaster rides throughout this life, throughout this journey, throughout love. And a lot of people don't think that they want to go through all of that. And guess what? You still go through it on a smaller level. You're still going through it. But adding in an additional partner is very scary for people because then you have to take into consideration the life plans that they are going to throw at you. And yours are now, again, curveball, 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 compromise. I don't want to do that. She don't want to do that. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of things to consider. However, it's beautiful. It's beautiful taking the life journey with somebody else. The ninth reason is something y'all probably didn't think I was going to mention, but I am. Um, a lot of us don't want to get into the relationships because we've seen other people's relationships that are just horrible. 
they break down. People get divorces all the time. And they're like, why do I want to do that myself? So what I'm going to do is stay single and fly like a bird. But if you find the right one, this is why we have to slow down and choose. Choose a great partner. Not just any willy-nilly that's smiling in your face. Not just any woman that has a big old booty. Or maybe you're a, bo maybe you're a breast man. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever it is that your thing is, okay? It has to be more to bring into the table than just physical. Absolutely has to be. Because taking this life journey, taking this love journey, is a journey for sure. Because you are two separate people. Hopefully you are two whole people coming together, trying to build a life together. But with that whole person and whole person, we got different personalities. In my own case, I got cultural differences. We're raising a daughter. We want to do things right. We both think that we could be right. Compromise comes in. You know what I mean? So again, it's not my way. It's not his way. It's somewhere in between. And sometimes it might be more his way. Sometimes it might be more my way. But usually it's not cut and dry. But taking this life journey, it is a journey, but for sure, it's a beautiful thing. Especially if you're doing it with somebody that you cannot live without. You truly want to be in their space. You truly want to be a part of their life. You truly want to have children and just love on your babies together and see them flourish and just be like, wow. I helped that life come into this world. And now we sending them out there together. Y'all still a unit. The 10th reason why people have not settled down in the love relationship that they might want, but they scared to go after is because a lot of times we are looking for the idealized, perfect partner. And there are no perfect people out here, including yourself, including myself. None of us are perfect, even though we are absolutely looking for that perfect person to settle down with. And a lot of times it's because of media and the magazines and everybody getting airbrushed and, you know, they looking like a certain type of way and the, the models and blah, blah, blah. We got all of these people being thrown in front of us, not realizing that that is purely physical. But what's inside of them? But a lot of us are not thinking about the internal. We are looking at the external and then we wonder why we get into these relationships and they absolutely are failing it's because we are not doing the work it's because we're not taking our time it's because we see all of these breaking downs of relationships and we start to internalize that myself because if their relationship broke down and they was good people and blah 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 you got all these things going on in your head and if theirs didn't work out oh mine for sure ain't gonna work out so why even put myself through all of that drama not realizing that their story does not have to be your own, especially if you are putting in the work to make it work. And not just one party, both parties are putting in the work to make it work. And not like stuffing a, um, you know, a puzzle piece into a place that it does not fit. I mean, y'all fit pretty good together, but there's still some things that both of you guys need to work on. And that's okay. That is a part of the growth process.